Well, it is February. That means love is in the air. And do you know that a lot of people meet their mate while they're walking their pet? In fact, Sandy is joining us, and that's what happened to you. Yes, my dog sat on my now husband's foot, and I stopped <laughs> to apologize. <laughs> so it's important to keep your pets looking good because you might meet that special someone. Exactly. And also, they say that people look like their pets, so you want them to look good. Precisely. So you've got to start with good breath, right? Yes. So something like greenies will keep your dog's breath fresh and keep your dog occupied while you're chatting. Yeah, Jinx seems to really like this. And of course it's winter, so they're indoors more and they shed more. So you right. need to groom and you need an all-purpose shampoo to make sure that you get rid of all that loose shedded hair and have them looking at their best. Okay, now another thing that we deal with this time of year is pets are going to be indoors for longer hours. If there's a blizzard, maybe they can't get outside to go right. to the bathroom. So we've got some solutions for that as well. Yes, a puppy wee wee pad like these four paws pads are an excellent idea you can put them down in the same spot all the time and your dog will know that that is an indoor toilet that is okay to use all right now let's talk about what we might do to help occupy the pets when they have those long indoor days in the winter yes. when it's too cold to go out and play well you know it's interesting because 10 minutes of mental activity is the equivalent of 45 minutes of active play so if you've got a puzzle like this and you fill it with treats that will keep them busy for hours especially when they home alone so that's a great way to go excellent all right thank you so much sandy for the tips and we also want to point out that jinx here is from furkids.org and jinx is up for adoption along with some other beautiful animals so if you're ready to be a pet parent check that out guys back to you